Hey Libra, it's Star. I thank you so much for joining me for your June uh, love reading. We are starting off with Libra singles. Okay, we're following that up with couples and then for those of you who have somebody on your mind but you are separated from them at the moment, we're going to take a look at that connection and see what's going on, how they're feeling about you. Okay, but for now, singles. Here we go. Ooh, singles. There's a spiritual connection. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So this can be somebody that uh, is coming into your life pretty soon. Maybe it's a soulmate. Let's see. Actually, let's leave these right here. All right. Singles. Libra singles, June 2020. What do they need to know? Libra. I hope you guys are doing well staying healthy and safe. Let's see, Libra. Okay. What do we have here? Princess of Cups. Judgment in Reverse. I feel like there's going to be two Cups in Reverse. Let's see here. This may be somebody from your past, actually. So, it's someone from your past. It can actually be a friend, um, a friend connection that you don't really see the, the romantic, um, it's like you don't see the romantic potential between you, but, but there is a strong bond there. For the others of you, it could be someone that you broke up with. Ooh, we have the Prince of Cups. Somebody is coming forth, uh, forward, and they are going to be sharing their feelings with you. You may have like a secret admirer, someone that you never thought of in, in a romantic sense, but this person has definitely, that was two cards that came out, um, and I, I wasn't feeling them. I just need one card. Um, getting that somebody has been watching you from afar, they, they really are having a lot of feelings for you but I feel like you don't even notice them again two cards now no 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 just one there we go oh my goodness the lovers yeah somebody has feelings for you let's see clarifiers The sun could be a Leo, <clears throat> could be a water sign because I do have a lot of water here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I also have Gemini. Um, but let's see here. The devil. The devil wanted to come out in this this other deck. So let me take a look here. I feel a bit of. Um, a bit of like obsessive energy it's like they want to know everything about you like I said this person has been watching you um, they want to know everything about you it could be a, a little bit of stalkerish energy but not definitely not like dangerous or anything like that like they, they're doing it just because they, they they are very interested in you they find you very attractive um, there's definitely a lot of uh, sexual chemistry uh, there's a lot of passion. I feel that this person fantasizes about you a lot, um, intimately. Uh, let's see. Okay, Seven of Wands with the Judgment card in reverse. Page of Swords. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that... Um, this person is like trying to work up the courage to let you know how they feel about you. And they will though, they will. Now, I don't know if you, again, I, I it's like you don't pay any mind to them. You don't see them in that light. That's what I'm feeling. Now, whether you will in the future, 
maybe because we do have this lover's card here and with that spiritual connection that's that is 100 percent. i mean we have two of cups and the lovers and the spiritual connection so this is like a soulmate connection you have known this person before in a past life and here you are coming back together but you you're just you're not aware of of the bond yet of the soulmate um connection yet Two of Cups. Tell me about this. Two of Cups in reverse. The Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay. And the Three of Wands. Okay, so again, I'm getting, uh, for some of you, this could have been somebody that you broke up with and you felt that it was over. You kind of gave up on, on their connection, but they're still waiting for you to come back to them. For others of you, you just don't, you again, you just have never seen them in a romantic sense. Um, and they, they've kind of been, they, they've been on the sidelines. This is somebody that you sort of friend zoned. They've been on the sidelines kind of waiting for you to come around, waiting to see signs that you, that there may be an attraction, that the attraction is mutual. Let's see this Prince of Cups. The Eight of Wands. Yeah, they are coming forward. They're going to share their feelings pretty soon. the Eight of Swords, but they're scared. They're scared of what you're going to say when, when they reveal this. The Lovers. The Nine of Cups. This um, connection actually has the potential to make you re really happy. Um, because I feel like you guys already, you already know that you get along, uh, you know, that you have things in common. The Seven of Swords. Okay, let me see here. Oh, I see. Okay, let's see. I feel like um, it's very possible that this person is already involved with someone else and they are just trying to uh, they're waiting like okay so they are in a relationship right now with someone else so there's a clue as to who this person is they're already involved um, but they know that they have feelings for you that's why you don't see them in the romantic sense but the, because they're already either married or they're um you know dating someone at the moment so it's like you, they're not even on your radar you see them as somebody who is unavailable, um, so you just don't go there. Um, but they are waiting. I feel like the, the relationship that that other person is in is getting ready to phase out, and so they're waiting for, for that to, to happen before they approach you. They, it's like they already know that you are the one for them, and they, they don't want to cheat. You know, They, they just want to wait for the right time. But they don't want to cheat, but if they had the opportunity, they would with you okay so yeah definitely a secret admirer here somebody who's already involved um again the signs that i have here i mean there's so many signs but um leo i'm getting um water sign uh cancer pisces scorpio we have gemini and we have capricorn That's what like really glares out at me. With the judgment card, it can be Aries or it can be Scorpio as well. So I'm getting a lot of Scorpio type energy. Um, but anyway, it could be anyone. The clue really is that this person is already involved. It's somebody you already know. You have a rapport with them. You have a lot in common. Uh, you make them really happy and they have a lot of feelings for you. This is a soulmate connection. All right, let's move on to couples, Libra couples. Lib 
Libra couples. What do we have for them? Messages for Libra couples. Love. June 2020. Libra couples. What do they need to know? What do Libras need to know? Libras in relationships. Okay, you guys got two cards. We have receive love and receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. And we have be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. Okay. Let's see. What do we need to know? What's going on with you guys? Two of Pentacles. Um, you know, I'm picking up, Libra, that with regards to this person that you're with, that you're currently in a relationship with, I'm feeling a, a bit of um, frivolous energy. It's like you can take it or leave it. Sometimes you like the connection that you have, you wanna be with them, and sometimes you kinda of want your freedom. You wanna have that option open. these in mind but I, I really just want one card we have the hierophant in reverse and the prince of wands let's see this person um, if, if those are the cards let's see what comes out but I feel like this person uh, may actually be thinking the same thing as you they may be thinking it's time to move on as well but let's see I don't want to get ahead of myself of wands in reverse so stuck energy uh, also um, not very good with communication so there's something that they're thinking they're feeling that they're not communicating with you uh, also they may be feeling stuck in the relationship I'm getting the sense that it's not that there's not love between you guys you do feel for one another but I'm also getting the sense that you both want freedom or you feel like the relationship has gotten to the point where it's just not going to go any further, and maybe it's time to move on. All right, let's see past, present, future. Or actually, let me choose a card here for these energy between the two of you. One card. There we are. The King of Cups. So like I said, there is a lot of love between the two of you. Um, but there's also a lot of um, emotions or feelings that are unexpressed. They're not being expressed, especially on your partner's side. Okay, now past, present, future. Couples, Libra couples, past, present, future. Four of Wands, reverse. Nope. One card, please, present. your card Libra so you're feeling really good about yourself you're feeling really sexy um, like you have a lot to offer but also like you want something new you want to create something new and future energy we have the ace of wands bottom of the deck, the star in reverse. So again, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like, yes, there is love, 
it's not like you don't have love for this person and vice versa. You have love, but you're feeling good about yourself and you don't necessarily feel, I want to say like committed to this current situation. Like you, you don't necessarily feel like this is the end all be all. Okay. There's something about the connection that is not fulfilling to you completely. Um, it's like, you, yeah, there's something else that you desire that this person can't offer you, whatever it is. Look, Queen of Swords, that's your energy in reverse. Princess of Wands in reverse. So some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So I have a lot of fire energy here, actually. Um, yeah, uh -huh, okay. You want something long-term but you don't see it in that partner. It could be an Aries. I'm getting very strong Aries energy. Okay, I'm seeing a desire to want something new, um, and it's not indicative of who this other person is. It's, it's not anything against them personally. It's just um, an inner knowing on, on your part, and frankly, on their part as well. They feel it too. Let's see, two of pentacles. There's a desire on your side for change. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So again, um, you want change. You're not heavily invested into this connection because you know, you feel it in your bones that there's, there has to be something more out there. You want whoever you're with, whoever you decide to be with um, on a long-term long basis, you want this person to like rock your world. It's not... Um, there is no uh, room here for any kind of mediocre connection. And that's kind of, a, not, that, not to say that this is mediocre or that they're mediocre, but it's just too meh for you. You know, you want full on passion and you're not getting it where you are. So you want change, that's what I'm seeing. You want change, you don't want to uh, stick around for too long here in this connection. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Um, let me see what this is called here, self-sufficiency. So, um, okay, actually, uh, you know, for some of you, I'm feeling like you want change and you want to move on, but finances can be holding you back. I hate to say that, but sometimes it's just cheaper to keep her. And that may be the case. So I don't want to offend anybody, but, but that's what I'm seeing in some cases, okay? Um, for others of you, what may be holding you back is the fear of being alone. So this connection, even though it doesn't rock your world, it is safe and cozy. And that's kind of hard to leave, especially when there is affection there, there is love. You do care for this person a great deal. And seven of Wands, yeah. Um, you're almost like afraid uh, to leave this connection and then you know, find yourself or, or realize that you've made a mistake. So you haven't quite gotten to the point yet. You're going back and forth. You know, you're on the fence about it still. You haven't decided um, for sure, for sure, whether or not you, you just want to leave them. But you do um, struggle with that decision. Okay, let's see on your partner's side. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay, there we go. We have the Five of Pentacles. So again, I do get the sense that there is, um, there are some financial difficulties that can be holding both of you back. So let's put it this way. If, if both of you were in uh, amazing financial status where money was not an issue at all, it wasn't a factor, I think the situation would be a lot different. The, the decision would be a lot easier for both of you. But also, uh, Five of Pentacles could be a, a feeling, again, this person may be feeling just the way you do. They're afraid to, to feel alone, to feel abandoned. Because this connection is actually um, really comfortable. Okay. Strength. So, yes, they are... They're working up the courage. I mean, you guys are mirroring each other, seriously. Look at this. Seven of Wands in this deck is called Courage. And that's what the Strength card is really about. 
is um, courage, um, confidence. two cards eight of pentacles whoops and the chariot yeah so again they want um they have the desire or the inclination to move on okay with that chariot card but what keeps them what holds them back or keeps them stuck is is just fear um fear of being alone fear of losing what they have invested. So maybe you guys have been together for a while, maybe eight years, maybe eight months, <coughs> who knows. But um, but that's what I'm getting here. You, you both are in a comfortable place, but you know deep down inside that this relationship is never gonna rock your world. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of um, you know, maybe bland. It's, you, you've, you've been, I don't know, like, like it, it's not passionate. I don't feel much passion here. Um, it's just, it just is what it is. Okay, let's see that King of Cups. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Mm -hmm. Eight of Wands, how interesting. So you have Two of Pentacles and here it is in reverse. And they have eight of wands in reverse and here it is in the upright okay so yeah both of you are hiding what you're feeling and if you both shared what you were feeling you would be surprised to find out that that you're both feeling the same exact thing you're mirroring each other to a t uh, your feelings are mutual although you love and appreciate each other you have to honor your truth The Four of Swords, you're both in contemplation, thinking, what should I do? In the past, Four of Wands. So I feel like this relationship from the start, even though you have a good rapport and whatnot, it's just not, it has never really been solid. The Moon, there's maybe been a lot of secrets. Um, you don't really talk about your feelings a whole lot, and that is has contributed to it not being a solid relationship because how can you have a solid relationship when there are secrets and you don't feel like you can share everything that you think, everything that you feel. Ooh, the two of cups. So um, there may be, you know, outside relationships. Maybe you or the other person, who knows, either one of you may have feelings for somebody else. Or you just long for that kind of love that you don't really feel for this person. You can't deny it. You, you don't feel it. Six of Cups in reverse, yeah. Some of you are in love with somebody from your past and you can't get them out of your mind. And so that prevents you from really um, giving yourself to another person because you still have that past person on your mind. Um, for others of you, this connection is just not, you know it. You know it, you know it, I don't need to tell you, don't deny it, you don't feel it, you just don't. You care for them, but they are not your end all be all. And you knew it. Okay, let's see here, Empress, this is you, Libra. Three of Wands. This is like waiting and seeing, wait, and, wait yeah, page of Wands in reverse, I'm not gonna take any action. I just, uh, I know my worth. I know that I deserve better. I know that I deserve more. I know that I want more. I want to create something new, but I'm not taking action right now at the moment because I'm just going to take the wait and see approach. Okay, one more. Okay, so a lot of um, soul searching is what you're doing. Uh, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. But soul searching, really trying to figure out what you want from your life, and you're just going to wait this out. 
But in the future, we have the Ace of Wands. So action will be taken. There will be a new beginning. The Death card, yes. New beginnings and endings. There will be an ending, and as a result, a new beginning. But I feel in this case, it's not something that's bad. It's actually... Um, it's what is meant to be, okay? Because there is a connection out there that is going to fulfill you, but it's just not this one, and it's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mind. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with either of you or with that person. Nobody should take this um, personally. King of Wands again, a lot of fire energy. Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. But action will definitely be taken. You you are going to get have that that courage that you're trying to build up here currently. Uh, you're going to have it, and you're just going to say, you know what? I have to be honest with you. I love you and everything, but um, I, I'm looking for, for something different. I need to go and find that. And maybe it's somebody from your past. The devil. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I, I do get that some of you are in love with somebody outside of, of your current relationship and you're going to go pursue them. It, it could be somebody from your past. You're in love with somebody else. Okay, for others of you, uh, I feel that you may be um, coming to terms with the fact that this relationship, like you're together for the wrong reasons. Um, you're together because it just feels comfortable. Maybe it's a codependent relationship. Maybe you depend on each other financially um, to get ahead, you know, because individually you guys may have a hard time, you know, um, keeping yourself afloat financially. And so that keeps you together. But that, those are all the wrong reasons to stay with someone. And I think you're going to realize that and you're going to take action. Uh, for others of you, again, I feel that this has a lot to do with like intimacy issues. You just don't. You, this person doesn't do it for you and, and you just have to come to terms with that and maybe maybe you don't have to say all of that to them but but you know it's just it, this is just not meant to be pretty much so I do see you moving on Libra all right let's see what we have for you Libras who have somebody on your mind but you are in separation Libras in separation let's see Separation. What do we have for Libras in separation? Let's see what that person is thinking of you. What may happen in the future? Is it over? Is it not over? What's going on? Libra, June 2020. What can we tell them? No, 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 no. Sorry, but these cards are huge. Okay, there we go. Interesting. So who got this? Um, who did I just do? Oh, I'm trying to think. Scorpio. So some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio. All right. Anyway, we have spent quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. So this is what you may be wanting to do. You want to get together with this person that, that is away from you. Um, and be able to talk and share your feelings with them. Or maybe this is how they are feeling. Actually, let me leave this here. All right, let's do a quick shuffle. All right, Libra. Libra's in separation. Sure you guys um, are looking out for the finance and career readings that I'm posting along with the the love readings okay all right we have the nine of Pentacles in reverse I feel that you are definitely missing this person um, maybe you were together at some point and there was a breakup and you cannot see yourself without them you want them back in your life <clears throat> how is this person feeling about you let's see what's going on with this person 
is going on with this person that Libra is in separation from? The world, okay? So they may be, may be starting like a new cycle in their life. There's been big changes. Perhaps they've moved physically away from you and that's why you're in separation. But something has definitely changed. Now, um, regarding signs, these are represents all the fixed signs. So this could be a Leo, a Taurus, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius that we're talking about. So let's see. Spend some quality time together. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. So yeah, the, the you guys, both of you, are not happy that um, that you are in separation. Or this did not end well. One or the other, or both. Okay, let's see the past, here we are, we have the two of swords in reverse, so someone made a decision here that led to the separation, uh, maybe you guys were at a stalemate, you reached the point where perhaps somebody gave an ultimatum um, and things didn't work out and you guys had to separate, okay, but it was a decision here that uh, was made, okay, presently, whoop. Presently, here we are. Seven of Wands reverse, All right? And future, future energy, the Ace of Swords reverse. Wow, look at that. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. So there's definitely still love there. Okay, so Libra, you miss this person, but you've decided you're just going to wait um, to see, uh, you know, if uh, if you figure out what it is that you really want from this person. It's like you're not, you don't want to mess things up by reaching out to them or, or chasing them. Um, and then you decide that maybe it's not really what you wanted. So it's like you're giving yourself time. page of cups but yeah you, you you can't deny those feelings Libra you have feelings for this person still there is love there um, and you want to communicate but you're you're waiting maybe you're waiting to see if they reach out to you first the messenger <laughs> you want to give them a message um, perhaps you are waiting to see if, if what you really want is like a commitment with them because you are getting those feelings like you do Let's see this person. We have the world. Eight of Wands. Okay, so yeah, they, they definitely may be traveling or they physically moved away from you. They're, they may be at a distance from you in a different state, a different city. Um, they also would like to communicate with you. But it's like they're on the move. There's a lot of changes going on in their life. They have changed as well as a person. The Ace of Cups reverse. Mm. And the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Okay, let me see here. They, they're trying to get over you. They feel like this connection is over. They, they, they feel like that was a final and they're trying to get over you but they haven't been able to they still think about you they've been very sad about the breakup between the two of you they may also be waiting for communication from you okay spend some quality time together we have the nine of cups reverse seven of wands so someone is feeling very defensive because of the fact that there is the separation, they're feeling um, even angry. Two of Cups, but there's still love. Absolutely, there is still love. And I see a lot of tears. Somebody cries a lot. They get angry. It's like they're sad one day. They're angry the next. They're going through like um, those stages of grief. 
There may be some mild depression happening here because of the separation. Whoa, whoa. What was that? Two of Swords reverse. Okay, so we're going back to this Two of Swords from the past. Yeah, someone made a decision that caused this, this, um, this separation, and so the other person was left angry, resentful, and here's that uh, Seven of Wands as well. So repeat cards all over the place. Let's see, Two of Swords reversed. What was this decision about and why? Here we are. The Three of Pentacles. So someone may have left because of work. Maybe they got a new job. They had to travel. It could have been this other person. They decided to take a job somewhere else. For others of you, it could have been that they left for another person. Okay, so there may have been a third party involvement. Six of Pentacles in reverse. A lack of reciprocation. Um, I'm kind of feeling that somebody was... Um, Okay, so a couple of scenarios. So someone, again, I'm getting, uh, somebody may have left for a job, for a better job. Maybe they weren't making enough money and they felt that that was their only option is to take this, even if they had to separate from you. <clears throat> um, another scenario is that, uh, again, somebody was, um, you know, kind of playing around, playing the field, having multiple options, multiple people, and there was a person that they were kind of dividing their time, so they, they chose the other person. Let's see, one more clarity. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting very much a, a financial a financial reason for having to move, having to move away. All right, let's see, Seven of Wands. This is present energy. The Queen of Wands in reverse. So fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm getting here that somebody just doesn't have any more fight left in them. They don't want to fight for this anymore. They just want to, you know, just let it be. See what happens. If it's meant to be, it'll come back. If it's not, then, oh, what the hell? You know, that kind of thing. It's like someone's tired of, of putting in um, effort into it. We have the Strength card. So very strong Leo energy. Someone's trying to rebuild their confidence. Especially um, if it was uh, having to do with a third party. You know, like um, this person may have chosen somebody else. So this could be your energy, uh, Libra. But I'm getting very strong fire here, so it could have been you. Let me see here. It could have been you who took the other job. You, you took some kind of offer. You wanted to go for it, but now you're missing that other person. <clears throat> and this person felt uh, either you took the other job or you, or you uh, fell in love with someone else. Uh, or you had a fling with someone else and you chose the other person. Whatever the case is, it's going to be different because it's a general reading. So however it resonates for you. But I'm feeling here that the other person, um, they felt like they weren't good enough and that's why you left. And now they're they're just tired. They don't want to have to fight for this anymore. And I, I do get it that, that it was them. You know, they just want to move on to the next cycle. Uh, and, and they see this as, as a, a loss. Queen of Swords, yeah. Yeah, they just want to, right now, they just want to forget you. They want to cut you out of their life and just work on themselves. Now, in the future, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Four of Wands reverse. Okay. Cool. Ace of Pentacles reverse. So two Aces here in reverse. justice your card 
I don't feel like there's going to be a reconnection here. Um, I don't. I feel like whatever that decision that was made, you know, that was it. There is still love. You guys love each other. But uh, this person doesn't want to fight for this anymore. They just want to focus on themselves, have a new beginning, and move on. Honestly. Um... It's just one of those things where, Libra, if you chose another person or you chose a job over this person, you just have to live with it because that that's, that's, how, that's how it the cookie crumbled. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like and subscribe. Um, share with your friends. Uh, and I will see you guys here next month. And, oh, and don't forget to check out the finance readings. Bye, guys.